Hey y'all, Mr. Jaehoon here. Today in this episode, we're gonna cook a simple and authentic Turkish dish. You wanna know what it is? Let's go and check it out. Today, we are making balantawa. So what balantawa is? Balantawa is a delicacy from the gastronomy city of Hatay. Turkey, which incorporates Turkish, Arabic, and French cuisine in hundreds of dishes. Balantawa takes its name from Hatay's Balan district and dates back to Ottoman period. It became known quickly due to being located on the Silk Road of Balan. It was cooked in stone oven by chopping small cubes of meat and adding tomatoes, onions, garlic, pepper, and various spices and served in the caravan sarai of Suleiman the Magnificent. So let's do it my magnificent way. So whenever you see Turkish sea river and fresh ingredients, you know it's something good, right? So we're gonna make our balan tawa with simple ingredients. The main thing for balan tawa is the sivri biber, Turkish sivri biber. Other peppers doesn't work. So Turkish sivri pepper. Let me grab my gloves first. So I basically chop four or five green, Turkish green pepper, sivri biber, whatever you call it. I'm gonna dump them in. Some red pepper. My onions. I chop one and a half onion. I'm gonna put some of my tomatoes, the rest I'll put it on the top. And my pepper paste this is Turkish pepper paste it's a bit spicy not too much but a little bit a kick to give some color and extra flavor then um, I have a kilogram of lamb I'm gonna put them I have some lamb fat too but I'm gonna put these on the top this prep of this meal takes approximately 10 minutes but the result will amaze you so I have I put all of my ingredients together I'm gonna put some I have some paprika some smoked paprika and some black pepper put, put them all here I'm gonna crush some oh, probably one and a half spoon of tablespoon of salt for flavor and of course Turkish chili flakes oh, it's too much of it but that's okay then this is it now you're gonna mix make sure to mix it up all together at this beauty without cooking even without cooking it looks beautiful how come it disappoints no no way to disappoint you okay now you can put your lamb fat there some people use butter or some or uh, some lamb fat usually it, it cooks with melted lamb fat a kind of lard lamb lard or whatever you call it and Hatay they use it that way so my mixtures then I'm gonna put usually they use like tomato sauce on it I have some tomato sauce without any other thing so it's kind of tomato juice thing with instead of water I'm using this for extra flavor and let me get my Close back on. And 
and I'm gonna put my leftover tomatoes on the top. And some olive oil on the top. Normally, as I said, they don't use olive oil, but I'm gonna use some because I don't have enough lamb fat here. So our mixture is ready to hit the grill. Don't worry if you can't make this, if you don't want to do it in the grill, you can do it in the oven. Usually they do it in the oven. Basically a firewood oven and Hatai they do it in firewood oven. You can do it at home, 350 degrees for an hour. You're good to go. But you know me, I like grill, so. It's gonna hit the grill. So the easy way to light up the charcoal is to use your gas grill. Yeah. Turn the heat on. Put your chimney on top of it. Come back in 10 minutes, your charcoal is ready. You can see my charcoal is ready. I'm gonna put it in the center of my grill. These are my synthetic bean chotans. Yes. So our charcoal is ready. I'm gonna put this in the center. It's very important to don't preheat it because this clay oven makes a big crack or something so don't preheat it. Just put it on the fire and close it. So I decided to put some butter so it's, I didn't want to be selfish so I added some butter to our dish because it's the way it's made, right? That's the way it's supposed to be in an hour so the moment of truth let's check out our food if it's done or not it has been one hour 20 minutes look at this beauty oh mama mia okay let's try this okay the moment of truth our food is ready i'm gonna test it so ladies and gentlemen belen tawa I have my Persian bread here. So basically I put the whole world in this table. Kurdish yogurt, Turkish shalgam juice, kokta, Bosnian drink, and my bread and belantava from Hatay, Turkey. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, mama mia, look at how tender it is. Wow. If I had a mic in my hand, I would drop it. The ultimate, as you guys see, the prep takes almost six minutes, then an hour on the grill. Tastes fantastic. The clay pot, is the key here you can do it in other parts but the clay pot is the key here so I'm gonna keep digging here you guys can try this at home with the oven another thing so everybody can do it if I do it you can do it too this is this is it for today aren't you done God bless and take care. By the way, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button and share it with your friends. Let them know. And all the ingredients and the steps will be on the description below. So please go ahead and give it a try. Balantawa is the best.